Rosie O'Donnell lashed back late last night after it was discovered that she had allegedly committed multiple felonies using aliases and different addresses to break campaign finance laws. The hefty comedian was caught red-handed, which pissed her off, so she doubled down. Instead of stopping, insane Rosie illegally donated another $100,000 screaming she will oust President Donald Trump. This caused O'Donnell to get a nasty surprise she won't ever forget. The war against President Donald Trump took a bizarre turn yesterday after Rosie O'Donnell was caught committing multiple potential felonies by making illegal donations on a Democratic National Committee website called Act Blue. The New York Post broke the story based on campaign finance filings that every candidate must submit and make public. They reported, Rosie O'Donnell made illegally oversized campaign donations to at least five Democratic federal candidates, according to a post-analysis of campaign filings. What makes Rosie's illegal donations so criminal is she clearly had the intent to break the campaign finance laws which state the maximum donation to one campaign is $2,700. Filings show O'Donnell gave a combined $5,400 in contributions over the limit to the five candidates and used five different New York addresses and four variations of her name, added the New York Post. In fact, the crazed leftist activist and rabid Trump hater regularly donated, giving over $90,000 for the 2017-2018 election cycle to 50 different Democratic federal candidates and committees, filings show. O'Donnell clearly was out to get around the campaign finance laws, but she's figured out a stealth alibi. The Trump-hating actress told the New York Post in an email, My anxiety is quelled by donating to those opposing Trump and his agenda, especially at night, when most of these were placed. You see where she is going with this, right? She was blinded by her anxiety and sleepless nights induced by a new malady called Trump derangement syndrome. She was temporarily insane with anxiety and had no idea what she was doing. Rosie woke up this morning totally unhinged over the accurate reporting. You see, she's a hero, and so breaking the law is her noble effort to oust Trump. Rosie went insane tweeting, as a salute to the Nye Post writer, who found sinister ways to warp the truth, I will click away tonight, so I can hit 100,000, number Donatuachik and number resist number Trump colluded. The nut job celebrity included a screenshot showing that she was up to $75,500 as she went on a potential illegal donating binge. But there's more. She posted 10 other tweets proving she was on a rampage on the Act Blue website, donating to 10 different Democratic candidates or funds. Here's an example, it's time for transformative leadership in Georgia, powered by all of us. Please contribute today number Team Abrams number Dapple. Rosie doesn't believe that laws apply to important celebrities like her. Of course, when a Republican like Dinesh Tsauzid does one time, what Rosie has now done multiple times, he landed in jail. Tsauza is a conservative pundit and filmmaker famous for the scathing documentary 2016, Obama's America. Some of you may recall that he was convicted of a felony for a lot less. His one-time donation totaled $20,000. He had to pay a $30,000 fine and was sentenced to eight months in jail with the help of Barack Obama's good friend, Corrupt U. S. Attorney Preet Bharara, who President Donald Trump fired. Dsauza weighed in on Rosie's alleged crimes on Fox 
and friends this morning, keep in mind Zaza was speaking just hours before Rosie goes on her next binge of illegal donations. Her sick admirers were celebrating that she was resisting Trump and doing so illegally. Rosie retweeted this post at Rosie doing everything she can legal or illegal to save this country. Respect. Well, Americans were waking up shocked to learn Rosie was so brazen about ousting Trump that she would condone and continue to break the law to do it. Patriots pushed back hard at Rosie giving her a nasty surprise. On Twitter, the hashtag number arrest Rosie is going viral as Americans let the Trump-hating celebrity know she's not getting away with anything. Christopher Montgomery tweeted to Rosie, how do you warp a criminal act? Because you got caught. Oh, but I'm a celebrity I have special laws for me, don't I? Do you prefer vertical or horizontal stripes? I'd like to reply, but do I use Rosie, 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 O'Donnell, 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 or O'Donnell? Who cares if you gave too much, you knowingly used fictitious names, chided Travis Anderson images, clearly being sarcastic referring to Rosie using aliases. Bugsy tweeted to Rosie, so, if you didn't know you were exceeding campaign contribution limits, why did you use different names and addresses? Asking for a friend. Well, like all good leftists, cheating and breaking laws don't matter if the end justifies the means. Rosie was hammered all morning long by pissed off Americans who are sick and tired of these nut jobs who buy into conspiracy theories about Trump. O'Donnell has stated that she only gets her news from Rachel Maddow, even dreaming of going on a double date with the Trump hating MSNBC host. Maddow's nightly show has committed itself 100% to pumping unsubstantiated lies about the president colluding with Russia, ignoring the real news he was cleared of those bogus charges by the House Intel Committee. Regardless of O'Donnell's brainwashing, she is not above the law. All law-abiding Americans should be outraged at her demented behavior and her disgust for our laws. Let all your friends know it's time to arrest Rosie, she has gone way too far in her delusional quest to oust our president.